Hi, I'm Daniel, founder of Pretty Litter. Did you know cats tend to hide symptoms of sickness and pain? I learned this the hard way after losing my cat, Gingy. So I created Pretty Litter, a health monitoring litter that helps detect early signs of illness by changing colors, saving you money and potentially your cat's life. Pretty Litter is veterinary and developed, and it's the easiest way to keep tabs on your fur baby's health right at home. Go to prettylitter.com and use code SPOTIFY for 20% off your first order and a free cat toy. Terms and conditions apply. See site for details. If you're an athlete, you know the greatest motivator of all is the fear of letting your teammates down. After all, a team is only as good as its weakest link. So you owe it to those wearing the same jersey as you to be your best every time you step on the field. That's why there's no vape in team. When you vape, you can expose your lungs to toxic chemicals that can damage your lungs. If you're a step behind, the team's a step behind. Brought to you by The Real Cost and the FDA. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show. And in today's episode, I've probably... I'm After this episode, I'm probably going to ruin any chances I have to ever being partnered with by doing anything EA Games related. Because... The thing is, is this, I've always have had issues with EA games from their video games to content creating stuff to just, yeah, anything, anything EA games related, I've had issues with it. Now, I will admit there are at times where they do accomplish some stuff when it comes to gaming, like the Titanfall series. I just recently got into playing the F-123 game. I might go out and get F-124. Like, there are at times where it's like, it's a hit and a miss with EA games. Like, there's always something good with the game, and then there's always something bad about their games. And I'm like, for an example, Apex Legends, like, the game is good, but the bad is that they've been working on it for too long. I'm like, bro, it's about time you guys come out with something else. Like, when you sit down and think about it, because... I think if you guys know me, you know I've been playing video games for some time. I've been playing video games ever since I was a kid. I'm 27 years old. So if you guys do the math, you already know I came from that era of gaming where they come out with a brand new video game pretty much every year. They would add stuff in there that you wouldn't even imagine. It's like they make video games fun. And I'm like, EA Games, I'm trying to think, like, their games back then, like, I remember playing Madden NFL 07. I'm like, bro... I had skipped out on so many different Madden games just because Madden NFL um, NFL 07 was just, it was such a good game. That was like the Madden, I remember my dad, he got me that Madden game. I had no idea about Madden and football and all that stuff. Bro, when I tell you guys that I was playing that game, that like I that was the only uh, football game that I was really playing. Like, I because I had my PlayStation 3, I think he, because um, I had just... I can't remember if I had just got my PlayStation 3 or if I was still playing it off of my PlayStation 2. But regardless, but um, no, I had pretty much had played that only Madden on the PlayStation uh, 2 or 3. So it was like, I didn't play no other Madden games. So like, and I had my PlayStation, um, well, I had my PlayStation 2 um, since maybe 2002, I believe, 2001, 2002. And then, um, yeah, then of course, uh, to, so no, actually, cause they always would come out with a Madden game, like the, like, oh, seven, they came out, so they had to have came out with that one back in 2006, I believe. No, let me, let me just, uh, check real quick, because I don't wanna, I don't wanna give you guys wrong information and stuff. Okay, they do have a Wikipedia page. That game came out, so it was August 22nd, 2006. Okay, so some um you know some days after my birthday and stuff but anyways so yeah i played that game for pretty much four years and then that's when i had got my xbox 360 and then that's when i was like oh well there's other madden games that exist no other madden game had captured my attention i i had to say probably the only other madden game that i had played and that was just because i had the psp at the time was uh madden nfl 09 those were the only two maddens that i had played like i played those madden games day and night and it wasn't until i had got my xbox 360 in high school that's when i had started going and getting the other madden games and they did not hit like how they used to i had to say like at some point in time they lost their touch 
then I started getting into the uh, um, the uh, the um, NCAA, the college uh, football games, and I was like, oh, okay, I like the college football game. That that was a game where it brought me back to the Madden days, bro. My character was in college for at least like what 10, 15 years. <laughs> I was like, bro, I don't want to let this, I don't want to let this NCAA career go, man. I was like, I got something going on here, you know. That was the game. I was like, no, I'll never forget. I remember I I walked all the way over to my friend's house with that game in hand we had played uh ncaa i think it was 12 hold on for a second let me just make sure i um i look at the cover um cover and stuff nc um ncaa 12 i gotta make sure i think it was that one let me no let me let me see the other one ncaa 11 no was it uh let me see i don't think I don't recognize any of these other ones. 13, I don't think they... Oh, they did come out. So, no, it had to have been... I think, yeah, it was It was 12. It's been years, bro. So, I'm like, stuff like that, I ain't gonna... My, my memory ain't gonna be uh, memorying right and stuff. So, but anyways... Yeah, and I played so much of that. And I was like, bro, like, EA Games, they had made good games at times. And it, like, you know, you looked forward to buying an EA game. But I'm telling you, it seemed like that when the Xbox uh, Ones and the PlayStation 4s, when those had came out, that's when their games just started going downhill. And I'm like, bro, I don't know. How is it that you guys went from creating some of the most masterpiece games to creating what you guys are creating now? To where it's like every time when you guys come out with a game, it always gets bad ratings. I you would just you would think that that's unheard of, and that's like that's the question that I gotta ask. How is a company that always releases bad games are still a company? That's the stuff that I just don't get. I don't understand that. I'm like every year you guys come out with a game that ain't good, and I'm like, bro, Battle the Battlefield series. That was a series where I had got into it playing Bad Company two, and then when Battlefield three came out, I was like, bro, this is probably the best war game of all time. There's no way possible that they could top it. And then they did come out with Battlefield four, and Battlefield four it was like it it pretty much was like a remake of three. Like it, you know, they did have like some newer things in there, but. But, um, it wasn't, like, a big, big difference and stuff. It was, like, both games were, you know, good. Like, I have to say, I've, um, all the Battlefield games that I've played, it definitely would be Bad Company 2, 3, and 4. Those are the only good Battlefield games. Hardline, I have to say, I, you know, I want to play that game more so for the story. The only reason why I had to say, maybe if I wasn't a content creator, I would include that game too. But since I'm a content creator, you know, like, no, the issues I have with uh, Hardline is, um... They won't let you turn off the music. They won't even let you turn off the music in 4. I remember I tried playing both of those games and then was trying to... Because they have copyright music playing throughout those games. And I remember I tried turning the music off and they wouldn't let me. And I'm like, well, you have to understand. And so, no, that's why I had to say I think EA, they're like, no, we want to make some sort of money off of the content creators. Because if some may find this hard to believe like if you've gotten into content creating in the recent years then you probably won't um know about this but no i remember when i had got into uh getting into gaming videos and then i was getting ready to start so i think i had just um got my capture card i was getting ready to start recording videos off of my um xbox and all that stuff and i remember looking it up online that you had to sign a contract just to play ea's games on youtube and stuff so, like, at the time being, like, so when you were seeing those YouTubers doing FIFA videos, those guys had to sign contracts to do those videos, and then EA would take a percentage of the uh, money that they made off of those videos. Like, you have to be uh, underneath some sort of partnership, and I think people must have gotten sick and tired of that, and then, yeah, they were probably all like, well, we ain't gonna stream the EA games on board. At some point in time, they did get rid of that. But I was like, Brett, why would you even, why would that even be a thing that you guys, you, you mean to tell me you're trying to find a way to ruin free advertisement? Because my thing is this, if I'm a game developer and somebody wants to play my game and make videos off of it, and let's just say these are YouTubers that be accumulating millions upon millions of views, fam, I'm like, you make as many videos as you want to. I do not care. Like, if I have a war game, I'm like, fam, make uh, weapon reviews, make mission, uh, playthrough, walkthrough type videos, just, even as you, it's just you talking about the game, I don't care what the situation is, that is free advertisement, I'm going to make my money by the person advertising my game, and then his, his, hers, whoever, them fans is going to go out and buy the game, 
I, I don't get that. I don't get how EA was ruining free advertisements. So yeah, with content creating and their video games, I'm like, no, you guys, y'all can't get that down right. And so actually, you know what? No, the whole reason why I'm even doing this episode in the first place is because... So today, I'm out and about shopping for some sneakers. I come across this uh, post where they said that EA Games is thinking about adding ads into their video games. Now, imagine you go out and you buy the most top tier, and you know what? I can see where they'll probably change it, where it's like, oh, if you buy the more expensive version, then you will get, um, you'll have it where you won't have to deal with ads. But if you get the, the standard edition, oh yeah, you're gonna have to deal with ads. And then I only imagine where it's like, oh, if you're subscribed to the EA, my thing is, is this, you're already subscribed, like, if I'm sitting down and I'm thinking about this, you're already subscribed to EA Play, but it's not EA Play Pro, like, you're just only subscribed to EA Play, so they're gonna get ads too? The people that's already paying you guys money, I gotta now pay you more money just so I don't have to deal with ads? I'm saying, like, if, if it's on some stuff where it's like if I'm playing the game, and I'm actually gonna turn this into a comedy skit at some point in time, but... No, I wanted to overall um, turn this, or yeah, but at some, I don't know exactly when, but I will work on that video. But I'm not trying to have it where I'm playing a game, and then halfway through the game, like let's say if I'm playing F1, right? Halfway through a race, all of a sudden, I'm getting uh, Jake from State Farm advertisements. I will, I guarantee and I promise you, I will turn off the game and I will never play an EA game again. And I did say this. And I will talk about this. I will promote this. I'll do any and everything that I can to ensure that that plan never happens. It's either that plan happens or I'd make a bunch of different videos getting people to boycott EA games. Because that is not video games. That is not gaming. I don't know what you guys think gaming is, but that's not gaming under any circumstances. I don't, my thing is, is how much money does EA make a year? Because I, I am curious about that. How much money does EA, I'll probably look this up too, but um, EA make a year. Electronic um, Arts, NSA, DAQ, EA is a global leader in digital interactive entertainment. The company, wait. Okay, so I'm going to read out this paragraph because if this is how much money they make, I'm like, you guys should not be worried about advertisements. The company develops and delivers games, content, and online services for internet-connected consoles, mobile devices, and personal computers. In fiscal year 2023, EA posted GAAP net revenue of approximately $7.4 billion. And this is the same company that just made, this was in 2023. So this was, yeah, last year. A company that made over $7 billion last year is trying to figure out a way of making more money. I guarantee and I promise you, that B is going to turn into an M. It's going to get at some point in time. Because, no, if they were to do something like that, because, no, my thing is this. Imagine, now sit down and think about this, right? Imagine you're playing Apex Legends. It's you and the um, like the, uh, other person. That team killed off your team members. You killed off your team members. You're you're literally a bullet away from winning the game. Out of nowhere, Jake from State Farm. I don't know why I keep mentioning Jake from State Farm, but I'm just saying. Like, let's just say he one of his commercials. No disrespect or hate to Jake. To, um, Jake from State Farm, but I'm just using his commercials as an example. But you're a bullet away. From winning the game, out of nowhere, Jake from State Farm pops up. And then you end up losing the game. Do you think you're going to continue playing Apex Legends after that? Imagine if you're playing Battlefield, you're getting halfway through a story mission. You're trying to see what's getting ready to happen. It, 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 it's, no, it's, it's no, it'll be no different than like a movie showing up on like basic cable or something. You know, and it's like when you're like watching a movie on TBS or uh, sci-fi or MTV or, you know, whatever channel and stuff. And then they'll show like that like middle commercial part of the movie and stuff. Do you think you want to play a game if it's doing that? Because I know I wouldn't. I, I will immediately abandon that game. I have no, my thing is this. I will have no desires whatsoever to play EA game again if they add advertisements to their game. Because there's no reason for a company that's making, you're making $7 billion. My thing is this. If I'm making $7 billion a year, I'm going to try to figure out how can I give back to the fans that have gotten me to this point. 
because that's the thing that they're forgetting that's the thing that they're not understanding the only reason why you guys still exist today is because of us is because of the people that st that stream apex legends because of the people that stream battlefield because of the people that stream f1 madden fifa all your guys's games stream making content left and right that's the only reason why you guys still exist today and you're trying and that's because of us not you us and you're trying to figure out a way of taking more money from us all right you know what here's the thing it's going to get to a point in time where ea says and i feel like this is that very thing they're gonna do something that's gonna upset their whole audience it's either going it's gonna be i feel like it's gonna be something really really bad and then that's gonna be the end of ea it, it's going to be the the end of them and I'm telling you right now, I'm like, if I remotely play an EA game and an advertisement pops up, I will never in life buy, play, purchase nothing in EA game related. I will not. And I'm kind of iffy now about buying this uh, F124 because I'm like, I've been playing a lot of F123 and I'm like, bro, I'm telling you right now, I pay $70 for this game just to get hit with an ad. I, I guarantee and I promise you, I will never play EA game. I will take every, whether it's an old EA game or a new EA game, I will make sure of it that I hide every EA game from my libraries that I purchased on like Xbox, PlayStation, um, Steam, or anything else. I will get rid of all uh, physical copies of EA games, even if it's a game that don't work. If I got to throw that game away, oh well. Like if GameStops or no other company won't take it, then oh well, I'll throw those games away. But I, I guarantee and I promise you, I will never in life play an EA game again. And then the day when I have kids, I will make sure that they don't play an EA game. I will make sure of it. If they do anything that's going to... Because what they really should be thinking about is how can we give back to the fans. Not how much money we could take away from the fans. I guarantee and I promise you, I will personally try to mess up their business. Because that just doesn't even make any sense to me. All these companies out here where they're looking for ways to give them back to the fans. And they're giving... You got Xbox where it's like they, they're giving away their games for free pretty much. You guys were PlayStation. It might be some of their games they're giving away for free, but they're giving away some games for free. Uh, Nintendo, I mean, they have it where if, yeah, if you subscribe to their service and stuff, you get to play all the old classic Nintendo games. And EA is the only company that just wants to do everything in their power to keep taking more money away from, yeah, I, I'm telling you right now, we're going to look up one day in EA games. They're going to shut down as a company, so... Anyways, with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. Stay tuned for the next episode. Like, subscribe, viewing this on YouTube. Follow, subscribe, viewing this on podcast streaming service. Thank you guys. Excuse me. And peace.